What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Drum Dumbs Drive. Um, got my new list of topics right here. We're going to pick up the Annihilation 4K, not Steelbook, just regular 4, uh, 4K release. But uh, Best Buy is the only place that you can get this in 4K. I believe until November, from what I read online, I think in November, then it'll be available everywhere. But uh, Best Buy's got the exclusive rights until November, so I have to have this movie in 4K because it's it's gonna look glorious. One of my favorite films of the year. Uh, firmly sits at number two, I think, behind Infinity War. Alex Garland, uh, who is just really doing a great job lately with the films that he's doing with Ex Machina. Uh, this is one that I, I definitely had to add to my collection. Speaking of that, um, I, I did an update a couple years ago for 28 months later and that video really still gets a lot of views like I, I've done two updates for that movie quite a few years ago and those updates I think are somewhere around 20 30 thousand views but I still get comments from people saying you know when are we gonna get some uh, some news some updates there are no updates on this freaking movie I know Alex Garland wrote a script for it um, but I want, it's probably like one of my most anticipated sequels, if it ever happens, behind Halloween. So, yeah, I would love a new uh, 28 months later movie. But, uh, yeah, I, right now there's just no updates. So, it's kind of driving me crazy. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I got my topics here. So, trying to pay attention to the road so I don't freaking get into an accident. But, uh, yeah. Printed them out right here, so one of them's gonna be really fun, but I'm gonna stop and we'll do, we'll discuss that one after I get the uh, the 4K because I have to really read my notes here. But a couple of quick ones um, from Richard B. He says if every Michael Myers from all the Halloween movies had to face off and fight to the death, uh, uh, who would win? Um, I think the Myers from Halloween Six No Contest would completely whip the shit out of just about everybody. Although, Tyler Maine is a freaking menacing Myers as well, you know, if we're going by size. But uh, the, that Myers doesn't really have like supernatural strength or anything, whereas the OG Myers does. George P. Wilbur really brought his A game as far as like brute strength and all that. So yeah, that would be pretty badass actually uh, for, for him. To go against all the other Myers, he would, yeah, he would. It'd be stupid, silly, but uh, yeah, that would be that would be awesome. So that's my pick for who who would win as far as the best. Uh, Nick Castle is one of my favorite Myers, but uh, that Myers I don't think could stand up against like you know the George P. Wilbur Myers. So that's my answer for that one. Uh, Kane Frederick. Uh, two topics: Michael Jackson and The Office. I love both those topics. I grew up. Um, a big Michael Jackson fan. I remember when I was in uh, elementary school, them playing We Are the World, uh, which Michael Jackson was a part of, over like the school speakers. And uh, it was a big deal. I tell young people today, I don't think you realize how big Michael Jackson was back in the day. You can't even imagine how big he was back in the day. It, it was, it, it, you can't describe it. He was that big. Like, if Michael Jackson walked down the street, people would literally fall to, the, to their knees and start crying. You know, he just had that effect on people back then. And his music was just so great. But you know, I think as far as like uh, being the full package, you know, as an entertainer, you have to not only be talented, but you have to be like a marketing genius. You have to have that image, you know, everything visual all that stuff it matters and Michael Jackson encompassed every single bit of that much like Madonna so uh, yeah the, Michael Jackson I, I love his music though you know just getting right down to the music I love his music I listen to it quite often actually I have the Thriller album um, I have his greatest hits and so yeah he just he had a lot of great music so yeah I, I miss Michael Jackson miss Prince actually I did like a Prince memorial type thing for one of my drum dumb drives uh, right after he died but uh yeah and the other one is the office the office the office happens to be my favorite television show like as far as sitcoms go you know funny shows 
it's one of those shows like Seinfeld that I can throw on at any given time and just enjoy it. I can see the same episodes over and over and over, and it just never gets old. And it's hard for a show to pull that off, but uh, The Office does it in space. It's really a great show. So uh, we're pulling up into um, Best Buy parking lot right now. I talked the whole time. That's pretty impressive, right? So anyway, yeah, we're um, we're pulling in. Right now, while we're pulling in, I have uh, I'm working on my uh, Night of the Living Dead review. Can't wait to get that one out. That one's gonna be a nice long one too, nice and chunky. It's gonna be a VHS review. So it's gonna be parked right in front of Jolene. Uh, you know my my big 1983 color track 2000 tv always excited to get in front of that thing and talk about a movie tomorrow night or wednesday night depending on when this video drops wednesday night we're going to be doing another scream stream it's going to be on the nightmare on elm street franchise me cody cp and brian we're going to be talking all things nightmare on elm street so that's going to be a lot of fun talking about the kills talking about the girls got this nice old couple here hugging and uh, yeah, talking about everything. It's gonna be awesome, I love Fred. So yeah, it's gonna be great. So anyway, we are pulling into Best Buy now. And by the way, it is a glorious day here in Melbourne today. Just glorious. Feels like about 80 degrees. Nice though. I got it. Uh, they only had like four copies of this left. So I jumped all over, but look how beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? guys I'm back I just freaking hit a gold mine here I picked up first off Die Hard came out last week I wasn't gonna buy it but I you know what I gave in to the uh, the pressure I, I saw that beautiful cover right there and I said I have to get that so I did that and then uh, next up of course we got Annihilation 4k how, glor uh, how glorious is that? There's thumbnail material right there. And then uh, I got The Matrix. They did not have this last week and it came out last week and I, I, I saw it this week. They wanted $34.99, but I pulled up my Amazon app and they price matched it at $24.99. So if you guys wanna get this, uh, be sure to do that price match and you can get $10 off. So badass, hell yeah, love it. Okay, and my... Um, my last topic here, this is from Hey Dude 607 uh, This is going to be a fun one. What are five movies that you'd like to see released from Scream Factory? Um, okay, so I went further and posted this question on Killer Flicks because I could only come up with like three good ones that I could think of. I came up with um, Trick or Treat, which the 1986 movie, but honestly, I'd like both movies to have a Scream Factory release. That'd be badass actually and then um next up i got the crow the crow would just just the cover art alone would lure me right in i'd, I'd have to have that one i'd love like a full nightmare on elm street box set that would be badass because after what they did with halloween give me that to nightmare on elm street hell give me that to friday the 13th even though i already have the complete collection 10 for that um and i love it um i'd like some evil dead uh, any one of those movies on screen fact well actually they did army of darkness so i'd like them to do the rest of them um okay but now let's let's do some killer flicks ones uh I, how did i not come up with this one but uh gareth morgan from slasher trash he said my bloody valentine the original my bloody valentine oh my god that would be like my holy grail of screen factory releases hopefully they can pull that one off hell an arrow release anything I have the Blu-ray though, the uh, Lionsgate Blu-ray that's out of print, that's selling for like over a hundred bucks now. I got that thing for ten bucks back when it first came out. Uh, Robbie Sobel says Dawn of the Dead. That one's another one that's out of print, the original Dawn of the Dead. I, and uh, I just watched Night of the Living Dead. I've seen the original Dawn, but uh, I would love to get a Scream Factory release of that one. Hell yeah. Um, I mentioned Idle Hands. That'd be a good one, Idle Hands. 
Uh, Christine, Jason Hamilton mentioned Christine. Uh, of course, that one would be a great one. Uh, Wolfman got Wolfman's got Nards. Uh, congrats, buddy! By the way, he just passed 7,000 subscribers. He says Urban Legend. I would love Urban Legend. And then lastly, Stephen Arthur, my good buddy Stephen, he mentioned the Loved Ones, and then I went Gaga because I freaking love that movie so much. And to get a Scream Factory release. Just the possibilities of the cover art with Lola alone would be amazing. So please, please give me that one, Scream Factory. That'd be amazing. So yeah. So that was a fun topic right there. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's going to wrap up this uh, Drum Dumbs Drive. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day. And on Fridays, we do Free for All Fridays. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Drum Dumb out.